Having to write Word documents for work, school, or other purposes can be time-consuming. If you're like me and it's not your strongest skill, or if you're not writing in your primary language, it can really be a daunting task. Thankfully for me, and for you, with AI, you can now save a lot of time and even have fun in the process, thanks to Microsoft Word Copilot. My name is Samuel Boulanger, and on this channel, you'll learn new tools and techniques to be more productive using AI. In this video, we'll explore six ways you can use Microsoft Word Copilot to be more productive when you're drafting documents. Copilot is available on the desktop, web, and mobile version. You will require either a Copilot Pro subscription at $20 US per month, a business standard or premium subscription, or a Microsoft 365 E3 or E5 subscription to have access to it. I personally use the Copilot Pro subscription in this video. Okay, let's get to it. Number one, Copilot can draft entire documents for you. You have two places where you can interact with Copilot, either directly on the body of the document by clicking on the Copilot icon or by clicking on the Copilot icon in the top ribbon. The one in the body will only be used to draft something while the one in the ribbon offers more options that we'll cover later. Let's say I'm giving training on how to use Copilot and I want to provide my students with a reference document afterward. Let's ask Copilot to make a first draft by asking, draft a step-by-step -step guide on using Microsoft Word Copilot. Click on generate. So from there, I can keep it Try again by regenerating a new answer with the same ask, delete it, or add more information. If I'm adding more information, it will keep the context of what has been written so far. Like if I ask, add more in-depth details. Now I'll click on generate. I can always go back to a previous version by clicking on the arrows. But for now, it seems good enough, so let's keep it. Now let's add a section. Simply position the cursor where you want to add the section and ask what you need. Clicking on the Copilot icon and let's ask to add a section explaining the difference between Copilot and ChatGPT and click on generate. That's it, I just added a new section to my document. Awesome, right? You can also use the Inspire Me feature that will automatically continue writing for you, building upon existing content in your document. I don't know about you, but I found this astonishing that I've been able to write two page, 647 words document in a matter of a minute, right? Number two, you can use it to summarize a document creating an abstract, an executive summary, or simply summarizing it for yourself. Let's create an executive summary. Just position your cursor where you want to add the executive summary. Beginning of the document. Click on the Copilot icon and simply ask to create a summary. Click on Generate. That's it. We're really living in the future where people will be able to craft lengthy documents using Copilot and I'll be able to summarize them using the same tool. Number three, you can ask it to retrieve information for you. Let's say you have a lengthy document and you need to find information quickly. No need to search the entire doc. Just ask Copilot. So open Copilot on the top ribbon and simply ask, how can I get the most out of Copilot? Send. There you go. It even provide me with where it found the information in the document. So if I click on those small numbers there, it will bring me exactly in the right place in the document on which is Bezos answer. I didn't even have to scroll a single page in the document and I found the answer I was looking for. Number four, Copilot can be your personal coach. Ask him what he thinks of your formatting, your tone or anything else. Let's simply ask him, how can I improve the document? Et voila, we have a list, a clear list of how we can improve the document. Add visual aids, 
include example and add a table of contents. Awesome, right? And number five, let's ask Copala to help us format this document. First, we'll select a section and we'll then ask, change the font to Arial, right? Then, in some cases, it will do it for you. But as of now, February 2024, in most of my tests, it will bring you to the right place in the navigation menu or will guide you through the steps which is great if you're not a word pro or you're like me and you always forget where things are in the menu and end up opening every tab one by one. I assume that the plan is at some point it will simply do it for you. But for now, you can click on show me and it will bring you exactly in the right place in the menu and will tell you how to use the functionality, which is pretty great if you ask me. You can also transform any text into a table like in the Copilot versus ChatGPT comparison I did earlier. Just select the text Click on the cool palette icon and click on visualize as a table. And here we go. We have a side by side comparison of Microsoft Word Copilot versus Chat GPT, the platform, the usage, the suggestions, and adaptability. Number six in our last features lets you craft a document from another document. I'm personally using the Copilot Pro license, which unfortunately doesn't contain this feature. You will require a business license or enterprise license to use it, but it basically uses one of your document, like another word or a PowerPoint and will draft a new document from the information it contains. Like in this example where Copilot can access an FAQ document to create a get started guide. This way I don't have to start from scratch, but I can start with a strong base to create my new document. Okay. So that's it with our top six, but before we end this video, bonus tip. Notice this book icon. If you click on it, it will provide you with ideas and how to use it. If I click on create, it will, it will show me example of how I can ask Copilot to create something. But it's not all. If you click on the view more prompts, you'll see a complete library of prompts you can try. So here I have write an introduction, summarize this documentation. I can select by categories. So it really helps you learn what you can do with the tool. That's all folks. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you want more tips on how to use AI tools to improve your productivity, please subscribe, like, and share. Also, don't forget to look at my other video like this one showing you how to. Also, don't forget to look at my other video like this one showing you how to interact with your PDF using Edge Copilot. I'm sure I didn't cover all that possible to do with Word Copilot, so feel free to drop a comment and share how you personally use it. See ya.